when you're transporting SAP CPI iFlows or value mappings, do you really understand what's being changed? What's the reason for the change? And what is specifically changed in these iFlows? Let me show you how the FIGAF tool can help make this process a lot simpler for you. So here we have the FIGAF tool. It has downloaded all your CPI artifact and it has versions on all of these. So we can see actually the versions we have for all of these changes. We can select a number of attributes. We can select assign to a ticket. We can describe what this is. We can write which landscape this will be. And this will no most case just be our CPI landscape. We will assign a Jira number for it, uh, a description of what we are supposed to be doing with this. And now we actually have a change request that we can work on and make sure that we have processed all the right artifacts. So here we have a value mapping and we have a iFlow in the package. We can select test cases to see if we have any test cases uh, already for this. We can select one and we can press save. We can then just run it on any of the systems in the landscape and we can see if this test behaves as it should have. And then once we're doing it, it will send the message through the system and ensuring that we are getting the correct results back. We can see we are getting some error here in one of our steps. And this is because some of the data is different from what we had before. Um, we should obviously go investigate what that is and how we can resolve it. If we have, are satisfied with our testing result, we will start our transport and this will create a transport of the attributes that we already have and all of this is locked. And with this, we can actually go in here. We can configure what this iFlow is supposed to be like in the new system. What are all the API keys? What's the, the host names and all these things that are different in QA and production. So in this landscape, I only have a QA system. If I had had a production also, it will actually also show that. And it shows that this password does not exist in the target system, which is also really useful information when you are configuring and deploying landscapes. So now I can send it to, to approval. Um, to some guy that has access to approve for this specific landscape. And I'm also able to approve this landscape. And what I, as an approval, can go in and do, I can obviously check that all the, the configurations is correct. I can go in and I can check what was actually changed in this BPM. And if I look here, we can see that there was some layout that was changed and this was this element. And there is also a change in this specific element that we can see here that one value was changed for last uh, test free. Uh, so we can actually see specifically what was changed as a part of this. This real makes it really simple to, to actually see and, and verify what's going on. The other thing we can see is we have a div to HTML that will give you an idea about which values was changed. And we can then see here actually the, the Groovy script was changed. We will just scroll down to the Groovy script. We can see the, the BPM model, how that, how that was changed. And that is sometimes a little difficult actually seeing, and that's why we have it as a graphical viewer. And then we can actually see they have added two lines. That's a secret line. Maybe there's something that shouldn't go on here um, that they can then go and, and do. They will approve it. And now you can just go in and you can import it on the QA system. That's also possible to schedule and invoke via API. So now the import is done. We can go back to our ticket. We can set it to result that we have resolved this specific case. And we can then go to our reports. We can generate a report that shows precisely what, what is going on and what we have made of changes so here we have the report. We can see all the default information about it, what we have locked on it. We can see the attached objects, all the changes that were made when they were changed. We can see which test cases we ran, what was the result of this test case. 
and here we can see there was this big error that someone has changed something that we did not uh, really know. Uh, and we can see which uh, artifact was transported as a part of this. I hope this helps giving you an idea about how you can simplify your transport processes.